Kind of growing up, I've just always kind of liked computers in general. Like I, I always played video games, um, had a few different game consoles growing up and kind of just from there, it, it didn't really stop, you know, I just kind of, new technology came out, I looked at it, I thought, oh, that's pretty cool, you know, it'd be kind of fun to study that. And so when it came kind of time for high school and I got to choose between all these different pathways and stuff, I thought, well, I mean, right, I've always liked technology, so might as well take my chances there. And I'm glad I did because it's, it's been good thus far. Uh, when we formed the IT committee initially uh, with the various business partners, and they were, their, goal, their role is to advise what kind of classes and what uh, should be in the curriculum, what students should be studying, if they want to be able to work in an entry level position in Grand Island, and also, you know, get their feet wet stepping into whether they're going to go to school somewhere or the military, uh, what experiences they should be having to get a taste of what the IT industry really is about. Uh, that really, you know, created a spark in me that. Uh, a lot of learning in IT is, is really experience-based uh, with it changing so much. We talk about how no one really teaches you to use your phone. You kind of figure it out. Um, and so that just kind of evolved into lots of options that students can explore. And one of them being uh, working with business partners to actually have some work experience um, and working through FBLA to provide some places for students to test uh, themselves in a competitive environment against the rest of the state or the country. And uh, so it's just that experiential learning it really is, is kind of how uh, the IT industry is working in our community. Quite a few years ago with us and Scott Fox through CPI, he had reached out and wanted to do some job shadows with us. Um, so we did that a few years. What we ended up doing was looking at it and thinking, man, this might be a great opportunity to take and introduce a program in our business uh, through CPI and so we did just that where we took students um, Scott provided us uh, a set of students and they were to come in we were to sit down with them we'd interview them and then what we hope to do is take a senior in their senior year work them through school and work around their class schedules and then as they went uh, you know, uh, as they graduated school, we would keep them on through the summer. Uh, the IT pathway provides students a lot of choice and opportunity between computer programming, networking, customer support, PC repair. In addition, we also run throughout the year a uh, class where we work with Brett Forrest and the construction students. As a class, we've been able to go out and actually help network a house, which basically just means putting in Cat6 cables, um, coax cables. Um, we've helped install you know, smart cameras, uh, Google Homes. We've got to see it firsthand, and we get to install it in, um, in a home, kind of see what it looks like. And so that's, that's been unique. That's, um, that's something you probably wouldn't get in just a normal average classroom. How do we grow if we don't spread what we know? Um, you know, these students are bright individuals looking to start a career potentially in, in the field of information technology. Uh, if we as professionals can lean in on that and impart um, any wisdom or knowledge and help them or guide them in a path that they again may choose or not choose uh, based on what they see in our industry, um, then maybe to some small degree we may have a large impact on them. You know, working with the business partners and hearing, you know, kind of boots on the ground what's really happening as far as uh, what, what they see as a need in our community. Uh, networking, uh, a little bit of computer science, uh, really a lot of customer support training um, has just made it more real in the classroom uh, for what we should be focusing on. In addition, those partners provide job shadowing experiences, uh, their guest speakers based on topics uh, that we encounter. So not only us here at Hornady, um, but as teachers and uh, mentors and parents and the school, as long as we can come around and surround them and help guide them and maybe set them out on the path of a success, get them on a successful path, then it's really of no question why I would commit the time or energy to this program. I've pretty much decided that I want my future to be um, in this 
kind of area. I didn't think originally that I'd ever be able to experience something like this in high school.